Court, and this is Sophia by Claro, standard tuning on a standard ordinary guitar. I'm playing on an acoustic guitar. Oh, I'm a pick. I believe, uh, you know, electric guitar is what is on the recording and stuff and things. First chord, pointer finger, 10th fret on the second to bottom string. Middle finger, 11th fret, third string from the bottom. Ring finger, 12th, I already lied. I already said the wrong chord. Let me start over. Pointer finger, 10th fret. What is the first chord? Hi, this is Sophia by Claro. First chord, pinky, 13th fret on the second to bottom string. Pointer finger, 10th fret on the third string from the bottom. Ring finger, 12th fret on the third string from the top. So starting from the bottom, that was nothing, and then 13 with the pinky, 10 with the pointer finger, 12 with the ring finger. Playing that is not too difficult. The tough part is you wanna make sure the other strings are all muted. So my pinky is just kinda of leaning down onto the bottom of the string muting it, but then my middle finger comes up and mutes the top two strings. Sometimes I might bring my thumb up to help, but for this chord, I think for the most part, my middle finger is just touching the top two strings. I'm aiming for just the three strings that I'm pushing on over here, but inevitably, I'm going to hit some other strings too. So it's important I have them muted. We're gonna play this chord all strumming down eight times in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. At this point, you're gonna keep everything pretty much exactly the same, but your pinky is gonna slide back one fret into the 12th fret. Everything else stays the same. Pinky just goes And you play this chord eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we get an actual change to a totally different chord. But first, what do you say we play these first two chords together, eight strums each, a little bit slower than the original song. One, two, here we go. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job, I got a little excited when I yelled switch. After this chord, oh no. You're going to go to this chord right here. So this one is pointer finger on the eighth fret of the second string from the bottom, middle finger on the ninth fret of the third string from the bottom, ring finger, 10th fret on the third string from the top. As per the other chord, you wanna have the top strings and the bottom string muted. My pointer finger is muting that bottom string. Now in this situation, I do bring my thumb up over the top to mute the top two strings. We're gonna strum this chord eight times. It's a beautiful sounding chord. Don't you love it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then after you do that eight times, your pinky is gonna go onto the 10th fret of the second to bottom string. It takes over for your pointer finger. See, it's on the same string as your pointer finger. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So exciting, these chords we're playing. What do you say we play all four of these chords Ocho times each, that's Spanish for eight. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Let's do it together. One, two, first chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slide the pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch chords. One, two, three, four. My thumb comes over the top, then pinky. And there we go. Great. So that's like the main riff of the song, right? Like it's the main thing. Uh, right at the beginning, guitar does that once all by its lonesome self. Then the drums come in, they go boom, ba ba doom, ba -bom, ba. I'm pretty much the best beatboxer, I think. And then the singing comes in and the guitar keeps doing the exact same thing. It goes, Sophia, finger, ching. That's not what it starts with. It starts with like, baby, we can do it if we try. I don't remember what it is. I don't know, I didn't write the song. I know, you guys think I wrote the song, I didn't. It was Claro, the musical artist. Uh, right from the beginning, what happens is the guitar does that four times. Does it once by itself, drums come in, does it again, vocals come in, it does it two more times. Then we're going to go into the arpeggio section. This is where we do the same chords, but we just pluck one string at a time. In the actual recording of this song, I believe there's keyboard going like um, But I'm not playing keyboard, I'm playing guitar. And when I watch live videos, sometimes the electric guitarist does this little arpeggio pattern I'm about to show you. So check it out, get your first chord all ready to go. The exact same first chord we did at the beginning. And you're gonna go like this. You're gonna play the third string from the bottom. 
then go up to the third string from the top, then go to the second string from the bottom, and then back to the third from the top. So of those three chords we're doing, we're going like the middle one first, then you go up, and then down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Binky, bing, bong. I did it wrong. No, I did it right. I'm so smart. Now I'm plucking like this. I'm going, let's see what I'm playing. What? Who are you? I'm trying to think of what direction I'm plucking. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going like this. You ready? I'm plucking up on the first note, then down on the next one, then up on the next one, and then down on the next one. So I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you just play those four notes twice on each chord. So look at this. I feel like I'm doing a terrible job on this section of the song. We're going up, down, up, again, up, down, up, then move your pinky. Then you switch chords completely. Then add your pinky. So that's our arpeggio section. We had our strumming section, which we did four times. Then we had our arpeggio section. No! And we do that two times. Then we're gonna go into what I like to call the breakdown. This is where the guitar drops off. Everything gets all like all quiet. And we're, I'm just gonna show you the bass part for this. I'm gonna show you the bass notes. We're just gonna use the top string completely for this bass part. You're gonna do 10th fret. You're gonna play it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you go down to the third fret, play that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then up to the eighth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then down to the first fret. So that was 10, three, eight, then one. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Stuart, why are you doing it all on one string? Great question, just because I think it's fun. I think it's fun to slide around on the top string. When I'm playing a bass line, the top string has a little more oomph to it. We could go like fifth fret here, then third fret, and then we could go like, look, it's so much closer, it's so much easier. Only an idiot would do it all on the top string. But I am choosing to do it all on the top string, and that's what I am presenting to you as well. So we do that twice for this breakdown part. Then they just go back to the arpeggio part. They do the whole entire arpeggio part two more times. Great. Then they go back to the strumming. Do the strumming two more times. That was terrible. And then they go into the solo. The guitar solo, which goes like this. to play. It's fun. Crank up the old distortion on the old amplifier and then on the third string from the bottom you're gonna play 10 10 10 10 10 10. How many times is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, but you only do it five times. I just completely lied. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the 10th fret. Bang, 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 bang. Then you go 9, 7, 5, 4, all on that third string from the bottom. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 9, 7, 5, 4. Great job. Do it with me. 1, 2, buckle my shoe. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 7, 5, 4. Then you're going to go 4, 5, 7. And then nine. So four, five, seven, nine. To finish off the first half of the solo, you're gonna play five, seven, two. That ending part was five, seven, two. From the beginning of this solo, we go ten, 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 nine, seven, five, four, four, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, two. Beautiful job. For the second half of the solo, it is 92% exactly the same. We're gonna play 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 7, 5, 4, 4, 5, 7, 9, 5, 7. So all of that was literally exactly 
the same as the first time. But then at the end, you're going to go up to the third string from the top, and you're going to play seven, five, seven, and then slide off of the seven. Seven, five, seven. What do you say we play the whole solo all the way through? One, two, three, four. That's the first half. Now it's the second half. Oh. Great job. Great job with that solo. Then we go back to the little bass part breakdown. We go. We do this two times again. I love it. So much fun. I'm just going to do it one more time right now. We go 10. Then three. I'm palm muting, you see that? Eight. Then one. I like palm muting it. I just have this part of my hand ever so gently resting right there on the string. It's got a nice little boomy, bassy, muted sound. And then finally we go back to the strumming. And we do this six times to finish up the song. And when it and when it ends, I think I think it just kinda ends, right? It just goes like that. One more quick thing. I gotta tell you one more quick thing. I've seen a couple performances where Claro plays this acoustic, acoustic just with guitar. Let me just show you really quick. Let me show you the chords you can play. If you want to do a nice, gentle, soothing, meditative acoustic version. D minor seven, 10 up on the top string. The next string is just muted. And then you go middle finger on 10, ring finger on 10, pinky on 10. So it's just 10, nothing, 10, 10, 10, and you go, and then we go to a G9 chord. So here's what we do there. You have your D minor 7 chord all lined up, ready for the party. Get rid of your pointer finger. Move your middle finger up to the top string where your pointer finger... No! No! 10th fret on the second string from the bottom. Excuse me. Move your middle finger just up one string like that. Then your pointer finger plays the 9th fret on the 3rd string from the top. Make sure the top string and the bottom string are muted. That's our G9 chord. And then we go to our C bar chord. I'm sorry to report there is a bar chord if you do this version. So that's eight on top and then 10, 10, nine. And then if you can, get your pointer finger to smash down on the bottom strings. Another option, you can just play regular C if you want. You know that, you know the C chord? You know it, do you know it? Top string you don't use. Third fret, second fret, open string, first fret. C chord. And then the final chord, when she does the acoustic version, is a big ol' A minor 7 chord. You know our D minor 7 we played up here on the 10th fret? It's that same thing, but on the 5th fret. So it goes, Swingy bang bong, bingy bong. Waka dooby doopy doopy bow. Waka ding bong shooby pow. And that's how you play Sophia by Claro. My name's Stuart. Did I say that? This is I have other lessons on the channel. You could subscribe if you want.